I don't normally mind this thing going out to 5.0. I mean, like, no, Bank with a 4.7 is gonna get up here anyway to face 5.7 tanks. So, what's new? But here's the thing though. I'm not mad about this thing going up to 5.0. I'm annoyed that the reason as to why. This thing probably killed more Tigers and Panthers than the Shermans and Hellcats did in real life. Hey guys, it's Jim here, and welcome back to War Thunder. And happy 4th of July to my American viewers. Or, you know, Canada Day or whichever. Anyone celebrating nowadays? But yes, happy 4th of July, and today, of course, we are checking out an American tank. Then I find that basically screams America other than any other American tanks. This is the M6A1 EV tank. And let's break it down to you, and you will see why I find this thing to be one of the most American thing ever. Now first off, armor. For a heavy tank, this is really nothing much to look at honestly. 82mm right here, but the good news is that it's double layered in some areas. So it's 80mm right here, 69mm right here, and 100mm right here. So yeah, it's pretty heavy in armor but considering what you face, this really doesn't feel like it. But yeah, about the double layered here, 69mm and then you have a 25 sitting right here and not to mention you have the 15 cows to worry about so this is a spot I wouldn't recommend shooting because that's 25 plus 69 and if you don't land your shots right that's another 82 right here as well but if you have a really high power cannon you can always shoot this like this, this is barely any angle so why people are not shooting this is really beyond me or if you have uh, more than 100mm of penetration like a tiger or a panther, you can shoot this right here. Only 100mm and the fact that there's no transmission to eat the shell. So, yeah. So you might be wondering, since all this armor is in place, can we just angle? <sighs> Again with the corner wedges. And now for the sides, 44mm, so there's something to be careful of when you come across a SPA. Good news is that I'm not worried about them shooting the bottom half, 69mm on the side, underneath A25. So yeah, I'm not too worried about them shooting here, but I'm more worried about them shooting this. Rear must really nothing to look at, it's only 41mm, and the fact that if you shoot the rear, the engine and transmission are just gonna eat everything, so yeah. Be ready to flank and spank. And for the turret armor, I'm not exactly sure when this became a thing, but why is this 250mm? <laughs> but if you want my opinion, just don't shoot the turret at all. Or if you're playing this thing, you just play hold on because 250mm right here, you don't land it right, that's like 260, 270, 300 right in there. <laughs> 350. Yeah. Nothing's getting through this anytime soon. As well as this. This is a double layer 50mm right here. 101.6mm, and not to mention it's curved. And double layered, so even if your round do penetrate, the resulting the resulting post pen damage is pretty much a strap now only, and not to mention the bridge will just eat everything. Now before you move on, you might be wondering, so much armor, so much firepower, this thing is pretty slow, right? Well, 35 kilometers per hour, this it kinda is, but here's the thing though, not only do you have a very wide set of tracks, so that means off road driving is kinda of pleasant for you. You have 800 horsepower because yeah. 800 horsepower at 2300 rpm. Yeah. You'd be surprised if you can actually outrun the Sherman. <laughs> but yeah, other things to note that uh, reverse speed and neutral steering is not the most golden thing ever. You will, you will definitely struggle to either turn or drive in reverse with this thing. And moving on, we have the setting point of this thing. We have the main gun, the 3 inch M7 cannon. And on top of it, you also have a M337 mm cannon. And this is what we'll be firing the stock shell M62 armor piercing cam ballistic cam shell, 
good angle of penetration and bend up to 149mm at point blank. So yeah, you are definitely killing tigers and panthers from the side. Not to mention, 65 grams of explosive mass doesn't seem like a lot. But the good news is that that's more than enough for pretty much most tanks that you come across. And as for the 37mm, this is what we'll be firing. Number of pacing cap ballistic cap round, 87mm of penetration. It's not too bad, I wouldn't use this to actually kill any EV tanks, but you know, if, if you need something to either knock on the bridge or the barrel or or you can actually use this to trick the enemy players into thinking that you fired already because most of the time they forgot that M6A1 has two guns. Yeah, that's when you use this. I wouldn't look high explosive on this thing though. Since it's only 37mm, it's not gonna do shit. Oh, if you come across one of those armor platforms that your 50 cals can't tear through, you can just load the 3 inch high explosive. And speaking of 50 cals, you have 3 of them. I'm not joking. You have one up here, and you have 2 right here. Otherwise, other characteristics of the gun for the 3 inch cannon, you have 6 for 3 seconds, which for a gun this big and hits hard, that's actually quite fast. Negative 10 gun depression, that's good. And you have a gun stabilizer vertical. And moving on to the 37mm, you have 3.1 seconds, but it's a 37mm, so yeah. And you also have a gun stabilizer for this thing. And the good news is that since they are like aligned with each other and have about the same velocity, I don't really have to worry about like having to switch between aiming like, like you would do with the M3 Lee. I can just find a 3 inch gun and just roughly engage the 37. It's, re it's really not a big deal. Alright guys, let's get into battle and hopefully if I see more German tanks, we'll probably bump this thing up to 6.0. Okay. 
niet. Oh, die dead bones. <laughs> What the hell is this conception doing? Ooh, you have key. Grim.
Okay, wait a minute. You have a good spot, man. <laughs> Why? I have that stupid glitch. I can see you. What is this game? Aha! Uh -huh. I have two guns in the dream, bitch.
Push this side. That's a face. Yeah. <laughs> 